We're here at the Michigan International Speedway for an exciting competition called the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. So what is the X Prize? My name is Eric Cahill. I'm the Senior Director of the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. I work for the X Prize Foundation. We put on incentive prizes that are designed to benefit mankind and essentially uh, directing the 10 million dollar competition to inspire the next generation of super fuel efficient vehicles that are safe, viable and affordable, uh, manufacturable and achieve over 100 miles to the gallon equivalent. It's really great to see all the different teams and personalities out here trying to win uh, first place for the X Prize and I'm, I'm real proud to be a part of it. Two and a half years of a lot of work. The excitement, the adrenaline, seeing dreams come true. I've been thinking about building this car for 15, 16 years. Because anything can go wrong, to even teams with lots of money. His car stalled. I gotta go back to the garage. Okay. Uh. It, it kind of levels the playing field. West Philly! We signed up for the Progressive Automotive X Prize because we've been doing uh, hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles for 12 years now. And we know that the kids that we work with have something wonderful to offer to this competition. We're, we are on a very small budget. So the fact that people are taking us serious and giving the opportunity to share their ideas, they're getting a lot out of it. There are a lot of impressive cars here, but it's going to come down to the competitions out on the track and the X Prize uh, judges' decisions. X Prize came to us and asked us how we test our cars and asked us whether we'd like to participate as some of the judges looking at these cars. The accident avoidance maneuver course that we've been running today is making sure that these cars are not only fuel efficient but also safe in an emergency maneuver. What we're doing here is we're starting out the uh, acceleration and braking runs. The cars that are competing will line up and when they're given the go we'll have a radar gun on them. They need to achieve 60 miles an hour in a certain amount of time and then once they hit the braking pad need to apply the brakes and stop in a certain uh, distance. We're measuring time and speed right now doing the acceleration runs. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think there are many cars in the world that can keep up with that one. I think it's very exciting. I mean this might be a, a new, the new age of, of automobiles. Well it's exciting stuff and really you're witnessing history. Uh, because the teams that are going to come out of this competition, not only the ones that win the $10 million, but I think just about any, any of the competitors that make it to the finals, these are teams that either will become successful startup companies, uh, you will see their vehicles on the road potentially someday, and the, these will be literally groundbreaking vehicles because they will have done what no other vehicles in a century have done. If you think about it, the Model T got the same fuel economy that our cars get today. At Consumer Reports, we're always concerned about fuel economy, energy consumption, and trying to make our natural resources last as long as they can. With these cars here, they're trying to get 100 miles per gallon cars that can carry people normally. So this is a wonderful competition to try and push new technologies forward.